Hi and welcome to this Edmodo tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk about certain things you can do in Edmodo. In the last tutorial I showed you how to direct post me and again if you ever have any question that you don't want the rest of the world to know please direct post me or email me that's fine. But I want to show you two things. First of all how to reply. So right here Mrs. E I think you're fabulous. <laughs> all right. You can reply to that. You hit reply Type your reply here, and then you hit reply, <laughs> and that's it. And if you wrote it, you can delete it or edit it as well. All right. So just make sure. Let's say that's not what you wanted to type, so you can edit it and go. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted to say. Hit save. Oop, and it's done. Or you're like, oh, I just don't like this. I'm just gonna delete it. You get a message, and then it's gone. Okay. So you can reply to posts. Okay, and you can reply to other things as well. Now, if you look at here, these are just posts. Whenever you see a post that has a little turn in, that is an assignment. Now you have to make sure you're turning in the correct assignment. I've had people turn in a progress check under the Web 2.0 presentation assignment you got to pay attention to which assignment it is. You can't just turn the same thing into the same assignment all the time. So if you want to turn in an assignment, you'll see it in your feed, all right, just like in Facebook. Then you'll click on Turn In. Okay, so right here is where you turn the assignment. So usually you'll be attaching files or links here. You can type any helpful comments. Mrs. E needs to know. <laughs> here. You don't have to put anything in that box, but if there's something you're having problems with or something you want me to know, that's where you tell me. And then again, you click on file or link, especially if it's a link, you'll attach it there. It'll come up and you hit attach. Then when you're all done, you've attached your file or your link. We're probably not going to use library very much, maybe not first semester, but probably second semester. Um, so once you've attached your file or link, then you click on turn in assignment. and then it's turned in. Now let's say you realize you turned in the wrong file. You're like, uh-oh, I meant to turn in this assignment, but I meant it's the wrong file and I need to resubmit this. Well, all you have to do is come over here to resubmit this assignment. And again, you're like, you know, you have to see the file or link and a lot of people have been freaking out about that. All you do to pop that up is click in the box and then you attach your file or link again hit turn in assignment again, oops, and if it's empty it'll tell you. <laughs> you hit turn in assignment and then you will get oops. Okay. then you hit turn in assignment and there it is. Okay. And again you can resubmit it. It will tell me on my end how many times you've resubmitted in the different versions so it's totally okay if you realize you have you know, turned in an incomplete assignment or you've turned in the wrong one, always feel free to resubmit without even asking me. Just go ahead and resubmit. Right. So, again, we want to go back home. All right. So there's the basics. Replying, that's what you're going to need to do a lot, and turning in assignments, that's what you're going to need to do a lot. Again, when you're turning in assignments, make sure that you are turning in the correct assignment right, and make sure you hit the turned in button. Right back here, right here, turned in. And there's another one. You have to make sure that it's the right assignment. You see as I scroll I'm, I'm hitting all these different assignments. So there's the basics of replying and turning in assignments. If you have any questions again please feel free to contact me.